Now it's been rather painstakingly and elaborately demonstrated to the satisfaction of most people, I don't want to just use arguments from authority, but it's not very much contested anymore, that we are not designed as creatures, but that we evolved by a rather laborious combination of random mutation and natural selection into the species that we are today. Uh, it is, of course, open to the faithful to say that all this was, now that they come to know it, now that it becomes available to everybody, now that they think about it, and now that they've stopped opposing it or trying to ban it, then they can say, ah, actually, on second thought, the evolution was all part of the design. Well, as you will recognize, ladies and gentlemen, there are some arguments I can't be expected to refute or rebut because there's no way around that argument. I mean, if everything, including evolution, which isn't a design, is nonetheless part of a divine design, then all the advantage goes to the person who's willing to believe that. That cannot be disproved. But it does seem to me a very poor, very weak argument because the test of um, a good argument is that it is falsifiable, not that it's unfalsifiable. So this I would therefore, this tactic or this style of argument, which we've had some evidence of this evening, I would re-baptize, or what might I dare say I would re-christen it, as um, retrospective evidentialism. In other words, everything can, in due time, if you have enough faith, be made to fit.